What's up, Android fans? Techie Me is back with a new launcher called DX Home. So let's get to it. All right. The first cool thing about this launcher, if I hold the indicator icon right over there, you see the indicator icon? If I hold them and I just scroll, I can go from page to page. So three home screens, I can just scroll like that. So that's the coolest part about this launcher. Next, if you want to go to an app drawer, we just click it and look at that effect. Did you see that? It's called the magic lamp effect or the genie effect. See that? It just goes in, goes out. So that's the cool part about the launcher. So let me show you an in-depth look about this launcher. All right, this is my home screen. First, ignore the status bar because that's from my custom ROM. So forget that. That's going to be your whatever standard uh, status bar you have. Now if you press the menu button you have add that is add stuff to the home screen and then you have the manage screens that is if you want to add more screens and all that stuff so that's manage screens then you got the themes different themes for DX home Then we got the wallpaper to add the wallpaper we can only go from here let me show you that later and then we got manage apps and we got preferences that's the settings of DX home and we got the settings of the phone and then we got the share button all right so let's get to this okay so first up this clock widget whatever this is it comes with the DX home all right we get two clock widgets one is the weather and the clock and one is just the clock okay and these clocks change with the themes of the DX home there's another widget that comes with DX home and this is called the uh, DX uh, what is this app manager widget or advanced task killer or whatever right so that's the it kills tasks and all that stuff okay so here we have and then we get all these other icons too like if you want to switch on GPS we just press that and boom we get to GPS settings right we can switch on Bluetooth just by here and we can even go to DX clear now D DX clear is basically uh, it's just a app killer so if I just press that boom see if you want to add something to the home we Hold the home button like always but we get different options here we get the shortcuts that if you go into shortcuts we get all these other things like contacts and everything that we get with typical Android um, we got to widgets and we can just add widgets right we can all, all add all the widgets and then we have the new folder and we have the batch sharing batch sharing is suppose you want to add multiple uh, what is this apps you can just click and you can add these apps okay so that's batch sharing all right but you don't get the wallpaper option to go to the wallpaper you go from here you just click that and then you get the wallpapers right you can go to your gallery and all right all next we have the screen transition effect as you can see I have the cube effect going but you can change that when with settings and you have multiple options I'll show you that in settings and then we have the app drawer let me show you the app drawer it's really cool we have the genie effect on the app drawer we can even have the uh, what is that fade effect and then we can change the app drawer background uh, we can change it to transparent or we can have, add a custom gallery or we can have this so this is the home screen of the uh, uh, of the app drawer and we got these options of folders here we got four four folders right we can add whatever we want to these folders all right and suppose I go to this one recent lists so here we have I recently opened this one I can even go here and these are last week the ones I opened last week and I can go here and all the open ones that I had opened before switching off my phone so these are so many right so earlier so you can just has, uh, slide this so that's all that stuff and we got different options uh, you can add stuff suppose you want to add games you can just add and this uh, suppose I want to add this one this one this one so I can keep adding stuff to my games folder so there you go I've added stuff to my games Oh, I didn't click okay so yeah so it's pretty easy so you got four folders up there and you can add more folders if you want all right you can change the transition effects as you can see I have the four five by four uh, grid you can change that two to four by four or five by five and I have the transition like the inside of the cube so that's uh, you can change that too so the bad part about this launcher is you can't cust uh, you can't add more here. You have four options: one, two, three, and four. But you can't add more than that. So let's get to the settings menu. Before settings, let me show you themes. 
So here we have the themes. Uh, we have different themes. We can have a home screen wallpaper. We can change it from the theme. We can change the icons type from the theme and we can even change the what is this border of the icons like you see this is the border of the icon and you can change it to no border or whatever okay like iPhone style and let's go to themes alright so I have two themes I have 4.0 Android ice cream sandwich theme and I have the uh, the default theme that comes let me just apply this and show you I click apply and boom it's applied see and the wallpaper is changed the theme has changed yeah and the icons have changed right so yeah that's I Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. that's themes okay? all right so this is the DX home settings menu right the preferences so we have the lock screen edit that is you can't edit your home screens if you press that and it's locked right you can unlock that okay and let's go to lock screen settings I don't know why it's all back blacked out you can't change those lock screen settings so maybe with the new update they might change that all right so let's go to desktop settings desktop settings is the desktop you have the sliding effects like cube tornado let's just go click on random all right then we have the icon size uh, you can change the icon size right now I have it set on large we have dock bar men dock bar mode advanced mode or classic mode all right uh, home screen setting that is the uh, which, which screen I have three screens right so if I want to add a uh, if I want to make my home screen the third screen so I can just do that from here I have a desktop screen scroll circularly and all that stuff I have 3d screen gallery that I showed you initially I'll show you that again and we have wallpaper scroll lock and we have height status bar right and then we have the drawer settings. In drawer settings, we have the drawer sliding effect. Okay, change drawer wallpaper. You can change it to either the current theme or transparent or customize it. Then we have the drawer enter effect. That's the magic lamp, or you can have the fade effect, right? And then the grid size. You can have either five by four, four by four, three by four, or five by five. So let's make it four by four. Uh, let me show you the effects. It has changed, as you can see, different effects all these effects to play around with and let's go to uh, back to our app drawer and we have different effects here too as you can see right all these different effects you can play around with so that's the stuff that's DX home that's a quick overview of DX home all right that's it for now this is tech and me signing out don't forget to hit that like button like it, favorite it, helps me out a ton, guys. And that's it. Take care, guys. Peace. Bye bye. Tech and me signing up.